Hello water signs, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a what people think about you reading. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, share to those who you think it will resonate too. If it does not resonate, I do apologize. You can check your sun, moon, rising, and other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. Alright guys, let's get started. I'm going to use my ghetto oracle card deck first. Let's see what we what these people feel about cancers, Scorpio, and Pisces. Y'all, I had a little nag. So, that's why I look a little sleepy. I have truce. Okay, we got people who want to make up to y'all. Okay, I got time is money. New number, who is this? And I have downloads. Okay, so it seemed like you guys have got the download of what's going on in your life. Let me fix this camera. Because I do have the moon guard. So maybe there's somebody who is hiding their feelings, hiding how they feel about you with the truth. Maybe they want to reveal their emotions and want to tell you how they feel. Maybe they feel like you're being cold with the Queen of Swords. You could have air sign in your energy. Because um, I have new number. Who is this? So maybe you just, um, maybe they see you as like, maybe they feel like you hide your feelings. Maybe they feel like you are cold. You got a reserve, especially when you're mad. Um, maybe you can hold a grudge, water sign. Like you can hold a grudge. You could be a cancer. Um, and I feel like you just be like, you just like, man, it's cool. Like, when it's not really cool. You get what I'm saying? And I'm like, you sure? You be like, yeah, it's fine. But really, why my forehead look greasy? But really, it's really not that cool. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Like, you really not feeling that answer they told you, but you're not really going to tell them. <laughs> like, something like that. Like, you just hide. Like, because you're an infant, and I feel like you feel it. You feel their energy. And they know that you feel this. And you quit to cut a person off quick because you just know when someone's being not genuine and when they are being genuine. And so then I, yeah, I told you, you just know with the high priestess, with the three of swords, you know when somebody's being not genuine, when somebody's being hurtful, when somebody's trying to hurt you, you just know. And you could be getting downloads in your dreams. Hell, even when you just sitting down minding your business, your ear ring, your ear be ringing. And with the Nine of Wands, they feel like you're really like, um, you've been through a lot. Like, for some of you guys, like, you're real tough. You're real, you're real tough. They feel like you're real tough. They feel like, but they know that it's just a mess because of what you've been through. Some people, people who don't know you, they don't know what you've been through, but they, but they know you're tough. And then if they do know what you went through, they know why you're tough. You know what I'm saying? With the Four of Pentacles. Maybe that some some people feel like you are selfish. Maybe some people feel like you are um you're selfish. But I mean, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, because it could be like you being selfish with your time, you being uh, stingy with your time with your money. Like you don't want to give out your money. Like if somebody asks you for a dollar, no, <laughs> like like that. Like you really protective over your energy with the Four of Pentacles because you're an empath. And I feel like you know you have to be protective over your energy because people be trying to play you. Like I, I got truths. So it's kind of like I said, you you be paying. You'll cut them off and you just mind your business and they feel bad after that. So it's kind of like you make them people feel bad because you know what's going on. You're an empath. Like they know you know. That's, yeah, I told you Ace of Swords. Like they know you know. It's like they know you're going to know if you don't know already. Okay, they know you're really smart. You're an empath. You can feel and you will know things. You're going to find out sooner or later with the Queen of Swords. You're going to find out the truth. You're going to seek the truth sooner or later. Maybe people feel like you're very, um, I'm getting very reserved. You see how her face is turned that way? It's kind of an issue where it's like, you don't really want to fuck with nobody. Like, that's, they feel like you're not fucking with them. New number, who this? Like, yeah, six of wands. It could be an energy where you're like, um, 
you worry about your health. Like, maybe they see you as healthy. They see you, like, taking care of yourself now. Like, this is the energy they see you in now. Like, they see you taking care of yourself, looking good, self-caring. Some people could be, like, really um, taking care of themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Like, getting their nails done, getting their hair done, working out, drinking their water. Like, really taking care of themselves, making themselves look beautiful. Like, somebody's very beautiful. Somebody dressed nice. Somebody is very, um, when you speak, you say your, you say what you have to say, and you just leave it at that. But I feel like you don't say everything. And it kind of worries this person, these people, because, like, they know you're not saying everything, but they know you know something. Does that make sense? Um, with the Lover's Card and the King of Cups. You have a lot of people who probably want to be in your energy. This could be your energy, where you're, like, very, um, emotionally stable. Like, you don't have to... I feel like you don't be out here wilding. <laughs> like, that's what they... I feel like some people want to test you to see if you want... Like, they try to push your buttons. But they really can't push it. Like, your eyes still closed. You're still meditating. You're still doing your thing. And with the lover's card, I feel like you make the right choices. Maybe people feel like you make the right choices. Um, But people feel like... Um, I feel like people think that you make the bad choices when it comes to relationships. For some of you guys, that's for some... Yeah, with the karma card. Ooh, I said karma. See, the devil. People will be feeling like you could be on social media, like, posting your relationship. Then the next day, it's kind of like, oop, never mind. So maybe sometimes they feel like... They be like, why does mine... I don't think it's good in relationships. <laughs> but I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads about what people think about you. And then on top of that, is it stuck together? Oh. Not even that, but I feel like they, yeah, but downloads, they know that you know. Like, you're going to know. Like, they know that spirit is going to tell you what's going on. That's why I feel like they're just really scared of what you know. And then with the Page of Wands, it's like, the Page of Wands is the King of Wands. Like, somebody want to hear from you. Like, they, they like talking to you. They like communicating with you. Some of you guys, they miss, they think you have bomb sex. Like, your sex is good. You get in bed, water sign. That's what I'm like. like they want to be back in your energy. That's what they want to be back in your energy. People like being in your energy because it intrigues them, but they're scared to be. The only people that are scared to be in your energy is if they don't have good intentions. Yeah, the temperance. Because you know. And then it's kind of like, um, you know, because you, you know how to interpret things. You know when your peace is being messed with. And then I also feel like this is true. Somebody want to balance things out with you. Somebody wants to be um, in your energy again. Like a lot of people want to be in your, I feel like you cut people off. You be like, I, I feel like you just don't, you don't call them no more. You delete their number. You don't talk to them. Then they feel the energy. Then like, what happened? And you already changed your number on them. You get what I'm saying? Like, page your cup. Like, they be thinking like, what's going on with water sign? Like, you could be very imaginative, very creative. You could be, um... Very room, like, somebody could be a writer, like, they could write. Or they seem to come off as very romantic. You know what I'm saying? Very sensual. Everything you say is very sensual. Like I said, because you come from a pure heart space because you're very nice. And they see that, and they don't see you. Like, you come from a pure heart space. So it kind of bothers them if they don't come from a pure heart space. And they just be wondering, like, what do you know? And I feel like they want to get in your energy, but I feel like they be hoping and wishing. Like, But it's like when pigs fly, <laughs> because I feel like you don't really forgive people. I feel like you forgive them, but you don't really fuck with them like that. And they, and they know it, because your energy is very different when you like someone. And not even just romantic, but just in general. When you really feel in someone and you don't mind them being in your energy, you're different. But your energy shifts when um, you're around someone that you know or not. That's been funny to you or up to something. And like I said, that's what people view you. Like they notice that they can't be around you if they don't like you. Or they if they have a problem with you. Or they can't really keep something hidden from you. Because they know you're going to find out. Yeah, with the hair font. This is kind of like you could be like a psychic, a leader. They see you as a leader. Somebody could be married or married material. You could have um, air in your chart. But with the tower, yeah, like they know that you are a leader. Like some people, you somebody broke up with someone just recently, a water sign, and they know about you, who you broke up with. And that's what I'm saying. Like they be feeling like you're not good with relationships, maybe. 
maybe I'm hearing like maybe you should pick me. You should try me. Like maybe uh, people feel like you have a certain type that you shouldn't go with. <clears throat> but what else you got for my fellow wise time? Yeah, I see five of wands, so competition. People are fighting over you and your attention. They are feeling your energy. It's kind of like it lingers on them. They cannot stop how they feel about you. Yeah, ten of cups and the four of swords. This could be family as well that you, you're not really hanging with. Um, <clears throat> I'm a resource guy. So with the four of swords and the ten of cups, you could be like taking a break from family. And family don't like that. Or you could just be taking a break in general. Some of you guys could be starting like a routine um, that you'd be like posting on social media and people are like interested in it. They like your, because you could be very grounded and minding your business. You're very emotionally grounded because you probably have a spiritual routine and I feel like you just like, um, you focus on your happiness. People would like realize like you're going to do your thing whether or not. You're very free spirited with the Queen of Wands. You get fire in your chart. Somebody could be very musical, very talented. And people see you as that very gifted. You could be a spiritual leader, like I said. And people, 11, 11, yep. You're very successful. You're going to be very successful. You already know this. You're good at manifesting. You're very attractive, okay? No matter what style you have, you're attractive. And people see that in you because you're such a good person. But they also see it, it don't get on your bad side. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, they don't want to get on your bad side. And with the fire, um, queen of wands... That could also be like you could have a temper, but you try to keep it to yourself. But I feel like somebody blacks out or try not to black out because they know how they can get. Yeah, look, but you have so many blessings. Like people witness you get being blessed. You're being blessed before the most high. Okay. The most high is blessing you. And it's kind of like people are like wondering how you're doing it. Like some people probably think you're doing black magic or something because you are a spiritual leader. <laughs> but you're really not. You're just being blessed. And they're seeing you being blessed. Like you could have been bullied growing up. And now those same people that bullied you are not doing that well. And they're watching you be blessed. They could be jealous. Because you are divine. You was always chosen. You was always the odd one growing up they say. And now you're blossoming and they shocked. Yeah they like how did they do that? Yeah they really they don't know. Like they could have a lot of struggles in their life. And it's kind of like wondering like, dang. So they could be wondering like, how you do that? They want to be in your energy because they want to know how. Like they could be watching your social media to see how they can heal. Like you're healing. How you're being blessed. How they can be blessed. Like how you being blessed. Yeah. It's crazy. People want to be in your energy. That's what they think of you. Let me be in water science energy. You better come correct, though. <laughs> All right, water well, sign. I hope this resonated. If it did, awesome. Support your girl.